So welcome to understanding Microsoft Azure, which consists of compute, storage, and networking. Let's dive into the core elements of Microsoft Azure and explore the key services it offers. In Azure, you have a range of compute options, from virtual machines to serverless computing with Azure functions. Whether you're migrating existing applications or building new ones, Azure provides the flexibility you need. Azure offers various storage options, including blob storage for unstructured data, Azure file storage for hierarchical file storage, and the range of databases, including Azure SQL database and Cosmos DB for NoSQL. When it comes to networking, Azure provides virtual networks, VNet pairing, and secure connection to on-premises networks through VPN and Azure Express Route. With Azure comprehensive suite of services, you can build, host, and deliver applications without the hassle of managing on-premises infrastructure. Stay tuned for more insights into Azure capabilities. So let's dive into some of the key concepts in Azure. Virtual machine availability and scalability. Virtual machines have gone from being revolutionary to being a standard part of nearly every organization's infrastructure. Now, containers are the revolutionary technology, but VMs are still very important. Virtual machines give you full control over not only the software that you want to run, but also the operating system. This is especially useful when you are migrating existing servers to the cloud. High availability with availability sets. When you use VMs to run machines, critical applications, you need to architect the solution so that it will keep running even if there's a hardware failure. A system update or a spike in demand. Microsoft offers a few different services to help with high availability. The first one is called an availability set. An availability set is a group of virtual machines that's designed to handle both planned and unplanned VM downtime. Handling planned and unplanned downtime. To handle planned downtime, an availability set groups its VMs into what are called update domains. Unplanned downtime is handled in a similar way by using fault domains. Each VM is in both an update domain and a fault domain. Azure will distribute your VMs into these domains automatically. Using availability zones. That's where availability zones come in. They're an alternative to availability sets. An availability zone is a physical separate zone within an Azure region. So if one zone goes down, the other zone will likely stay up. Scalability with scale sets. The simplest way to scale is to switch an individual VM to a larger size. There is known as a vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling, on the other hand, is when you scale by adding more VMs. You need to architect your application so it can run across multiple identical machines and create a scale set. Automated scaling in regional scale sets. You can configure a scale set to automatically increase or decrease the number of VMs in it according to rules you define. By default, a scale set is deployed in a single zone, but for the ultimate in availability and scalability, you can deploy a scale set across availability zones. Let's try to understand the different ways to purchase Azure virtual machines. Leveraging pay as you go. With pay as you go, you pay for your compute capacity by the second with no long-term commitments or upfront payments. This option provides the flexibility to increase or decrease compute capacity as needed, paying only for what you use. It's recommended for customers who prefer the low cost and flexibility of Azure VMs. Reserved VM instances offer savings of up to 72% compared to pay-as-you-go pricing, making it ideal for applications with steady state usage or for those seeking budget predictability. However, it requires a commitment of at least a year. Spot pricing for unused compute capacity. Spot pricing allows the purchase of unused Azure compute capacity at a discount of up to 90% compared to pay-as-you-go prices. It's suitable for 
interruptible applications aiming to drastically lower compute cost. Ready to make an informed decision about Azure VM pricing. Let's explore the world of Microsoft Azure services. From migration tools to identity management, development, IoT, analytics, artificial intelligence, and integration, Microsoft Azure offers a wide range of services to meet your organization needs. Azure Migrate, simplifying migration. If you're looking to migrate your existing application to Azure, the Azure Migrate tool is your go-to solution. It discovers your on-premises servers, assesses them, and even helps with the migration process. Azure Active Directory, seamless integration. Integrating on-premises identities with Azure is made easy with Azure Active Directory. This managed identity service takes care of authentication and offers options for synchronizing your on-premises directory with your Azure directory. Azure DevOps Automation Development For implementing DevOps processes, Azure DevOps provides a suite of services, including Azure pipelines for creating automated workflows and Azure test, Dev Test Labs for spinning up non-production environments. Azure IoT and Analytics, connecting and analyzing. Microsoft suite of IoT services, including Azure IoT Central and Azure IoT Hub, along with analytics offering like HD Insight and Azure Synapse Analytics help connect, monitor, control IT device, IoT devices and perform advanced analytics. Azure AI, harnessing artificial intelligence. Explore the world of artificial intelligence with Azure Cognitive Services, Azure Bot Service, Azure Machine Learning Studio, and Azure Machine Learning Services, offering pre-built AI tools and custom machine learning capabilities. Azure Integration Tools, automating tasks. Simplifying automation with Azure Logic Apps, which allows you to automate tasks across various services without writing any code, and Azure Event Bridge, for event-driven notifications. This is just a glimpse of the extension range of Microsoft Azure services. Ready to explore more? Visit the Azure products page on the Azure Marketplace for additional options. Are you struggling to manage your Azure infrastructure efficiently and securely? Microsoft offers a range of services to help you with these tasks. Let's explore some of the key tools available to you. Azure Monitor. Azure Monitor is one-stop shop for keeping track of what's happening with your Azure resources. It includes a variety of monitoring tools, such as application insights and log analytics to help you run complex queries on multiple logs collected from your Azure resources. Service Health and Backups. Microsoft provides a dashboard called Service Health where you can find out about problems with the Azure platform itself, as well as upcoming maintenance events. Additionally, most Azure services have their own built-in backup capabilities, and Azure VMs can be backed up using Azure Backup. Azure Advisor and Security. Azure Advisor suggests ways to improve the performance, availability, and cost efficiency of your applications. It also provides security recommendations sourced from Microsoft Defender for Cloud, formerly known as Azure Security Center. Azure Policy and Automation. You can customize regulatory compliance policies using Azure Policy and automate the deployment of resources using ARM templates and Azure Blueprints. With these powerful tools at your disposal, you can effectively manage your Azure infrastructure with confidence. Ever wondered how Azure Monitor works? Let's dive into understanding Azure Monitor for resource monitoring. Azure Monitor Basics. Azure Monitor collects CRUD type data, performance metrics, historical events, and log data from resources and applications. It saves two basic types of data metrics, which are lightweight numerical data and logs, which are in-depth telemetry data. Data sources. 
the record data comes from various sources including application monitoring data guest os data resource monitoring and subscription and tenant monitoring it also supports custom sources through apis for data ingestion data analysis metrics can be viewed through the monitoring and metrics function within a resource or via the azure monitor service log data can be analyzed using the kusto query language and visualized in dashboards and reporting tools like power bi insights and automation azure monitor provides deeper insights through automated artificial intelligence analysis enabling suggestions and advice on improving resource performance it also allows setting up rules for triggering specific actions like alerts or resource scaling to meet increased demands data streaming log and metrics data can be streamed to azure events hubs to make it accessible to third party tools either within or external to azure that's a glimpse into azure monitor for resource monitoring congratulations on reaching this point in your learning journey as you prepare for the microsoft az900 exam there are some additional topics to keep in mind that weren't covered till now let's dive into these briefly azure region and geographies microsoft azure regions are grouped into geographies each meeting specific data residency and compliance requirements for example the uk geography contains two regions uk south and uk west which are paired for recovery during outages resource groups and tags resource groups organize related resources and tags are labels for management purposes remember resources don't need to be in the same region as the resource group they are in and tags applied to a resource group don't get inherited by the resources in it resource locks and azure policy resource locks prevent accidental modification or deletions while azure policy helps enforce governance policies you can even group policies into initiatives for easier management trust center and service trust portal microsoft provides extensive resources on security privacy compliance and trust through the trust center and service trust portal these are essential for understanding how microsoft handles its side of the arrangement 